All right, y'all. Welcome to the More Bree channel, man. It's your girl Bree, and we back with another video. Hey, y'all know what to do. Make sure y'all like, subscribe to the channel, man. Hit the post notification bell so y'all know when to get my next video. And y'all know when I when I jala la la baker. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure y'all follow my social medias as well. Uh, my Instagram is Buffalo May Bree. Um, and also go follow me on TikTok at yt.lifewithbree. Yeah, we'll be tuned in on there. We are on the road to 100 new followings. Uh, we're, we're at 98 followings on TikTok. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I just really want to thank everybody um, for tuning in on my TikTok um, videos. And also, y'all be uh, tuned in on my second channel which is this channel right here the car channel man y'all be tuned in i appreciate every last one of y'all you feel what i'm saying like we got new subscribers we got just new viewers you know what i'm saying and my job is to make sure y'all like the content that i'm giving out you feel what i'm saying so yeah so don't forget to like this video up subscribe to the channel and we finna get into this video yeah did yeah so in today's video we're going to be doing some pros and cons um, so far of what I like about my um, Dodge Charger Scat Pack. Um, I did cover some things that I wrote in my notes um, so far. Um, like I said, I have not even had the car for literally a week. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm just going to be going over, like, what I do like and what I don't like. You feel me? Um, it is just my opinion. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all could drop in the comments to let me know if y'all is um, some a Scat Pack owner or a... Uh, hellcat owner you feel me of whether it's a charger or a challenger um drop in the comments what do y'all dislike or what do y'all love about y'all car you feel what i'm saying and yeah we're gonna get right into this video let go all right y'all so i got a few of the pros and cons that i'm gonna be talking about today you feel what i'm saying uh and we're gonna get into this video so i took a, I took a, uh my notes on this phone let me see all right, boom. So, some pros that I love about the car. Or actually, we're going to do cons first. You feel what I'm saying? Like, why am I going to do my pros first? You feel what I'm saying? Like, no, we're going to end the video off with some good stuff. You feel what I'm saying? So, uh, some of the cons I wrote down was um, the seats. That's my first con. You feel what I'm saying? I love my seats. And I feel like this one, honestly, could be like a, like a pro and a con, if you ask me. Because... I would say a pro would be like the seats. You feel what I'm saying? It's the scat pack labels. You feel what I'm saying? On the logos is on side of the thing. Uh, but I would say also for myself, I would think that's also a a, a, a a con. You feel what I'm saying? It's both because a con is like I had a Lexus before. You feel what I'm saying? And I had leather seats. And you, these are cloth seats. You feel what I'm saying? So if you a, if you a, if you a leather lover. You feel what I'm saying? Get the Hillcats. You feel what I'm saying? Or you can actually get um, the leather seats installed into your car. I mean, it is going to be a little a little grip of it. You feel what I'm saying? Grip of money. But, I mean, it could be really worth it. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so that is like both pros and cons. Or you could probably just go on Amazon or somewhere and just get the little leather, leather joints on your seats if you would like. Um, me personally, though it's both of me it's like it's like a pro because it's like okay uh i got them on my seat you know what i'm saying like it indicate that it's a scat pack and stuff like that but also my badges do too you feel what i'm saying so it's like that's cool but it's like i feel like because leather it'll be easier to get up things too like if you make like a mess or if you got kids and stuff like that i'm leather you feel what i'm saying i'm definitely more of a leather type of person um but you know what I'm saying? It could be both. It could be a pro and a con, in my opinion. Um, the next one we finna get into is um, the gas. Now, I know my scat packs, my Hellcats. You feel what I'm saying? This is for everybody who have these cars or looking to get a car. Um, if you watch my last video, I did drop down a little bit um, topics about the gas. But I'm just saying, bro, if you a person who drive this car on a daily base and you have your, uh, you switch your gear to like sport, 
child, listen. You finna, your gas finna, you gonna burn your gas out. And I'm not playing. Like, your ga you gonna burn your gas out. You gonna be right at the gas station within less than two days. I'm trying to tell you, like, you gonna be making stops. So, driving, like, Echo or, like, just regular, you feel what I'm saying? I personally drive in auto, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, I, also because I've been, it's been raining. So, it's like, I can't really, you feel what I'm saying? Like, use those type of um, settings. But, uh, yeah, just know if you a person who like to be speeding and you on the highways and things like that, just know you finna spend a bag on gas. You feel what I'm saying? You gonna be like, like me personally, um, I don't put anything else in my gas besides premium, uh, premium gas. And I literally don't drive as much. You feel what I'm saying? So, um when i i lately i've been driving a lot because i've been back and forth from the dealer and things like that because as y'all know you know what i'm saying i don't have my badges on outside of my car and stuff um so i'm supposed to be getting them back on um my badges and stuff like that but um yeah i would just say gas you know what i'm saying but if you don't care like i don't care if i put my car in sport and stuff like that because i know i'm gonna pay my gas regardless you know what i'm saying it's gonna get done regardless but I, I do be having a problem with the gas, though. I do. So I'm saying? Because Lexus, I had a Lexus, and my car was good. You know what I'm saying? And the most my car would take is probably like $60. This car take at least, I'm talking about, my car was at half tank, and I spent like $62 on literally half tank. So just picture that being like your gas is all the way at E. That's like $70, $80. You feel what I'm saying? Especially because we're in inflation. So, gas, yeah, come with that bag. Come with that racks. You feel what I'm saying? But, uh, I would say my next, my next, um, con would be, let's see. Next con I got is, um, watching the scat pack every single day. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, if y'all watch other YouTubers or other people who have these, like, you know what I'm saying, like, type of cars, you understand um having a scat pack a hill cat uh these cars typically bring a lot of attention to the car you feel what i'm saying and uh they get stolen a lot you feel what i'm saying break-ins a lot of things happen to the cars um mm -mm. so I, you know i don't like the whole being paranoid stuff like that or or you know thinking that somebody stole my car and stuff like that so it's like I would definitely say, you know, you happen to watch your car, you know what I'm saying? Or like if you in a if you in the store real quick and you always in the back of your head, like, you know, I gotta get to my car because I don't want somebody to steal my car, you feel what I'm saying, on my whip. You know what I mean? That take a toll too. You know what I'm saying? Watching my car every day. I should be able to go in the car and my car be perfectly fine. Cause I work for my car. Just how the people that break in, they do whatever, I work for my own car. You feel what I'm saying? So I should have to always think somebody selling my car or something about to happen or somebody about to bust my windows or something like that you feel what i'm saying so i would say that's a con for me is i personally do not like watching my car every day you feel what i'm saying or just the whole being paranoid especially on top of me already having anxiety you feel what i'm saying i don't really like to watch my car every day you know what i'm saying so yeah that's a i would say that's a con uh Next con I say is uh, you got to wash your car every other week. So there are other scat packs um, and Hellcats that, you know what I'm saying, it's not white, but you still wash your car a lot or very often. Um, I wash my car. I mean, I got my, I just got the car and I've washed it a lot, but I have a white scat pack. You feel what I'm saying? So obviously white get dirty pretty fast and you could, you could look at everything and stuff like that. But it's like, really? Get your car wash, it gets so dirty. For what? It gets so dirty. So dirty. You feel what I'm saying? For what? And then the car wash is in Charlotte. I don't know where everybody else at, but I know in Charlotte, these car car wash companies, bro, it's best if you just do it yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Wash your own car, man. Stop being lazy. Yeah, you. Stop being lazy and wash your car. You feel what I'm saying? Like, don't let nobody else do your car for you facts because it's like 
it be leaving like dents or like like scratches on the things from how powerful the things is or something like that. I don't know. But drop in the comments if that happened to y'all. If y'all got little scratches or scrapes from y'all car, cause bro, that joint be annoying. I'm like, bro, what the heck, bro? So it's like I was gonna try to like, I would say if anybody is experienced that, invest in your own equipment. You know what I'm saying? So you can wash your own car and take care of it the way you want to and stuff. Yeah. So that's another car. Alright. Another con I would say is you need to be caught. I would say being cautious when you um need to park. You know what I'm saying? Um now with this one is go back to kind of watching your surroundings. You feel what I'm saying? Like you with these type of typically cars, you cannot be in the hood. Or leaving your car in random areas or, you know what I'm saying? Like, just weird areas and spots because it drags. It's just, it's just, people, these is popular, these cars. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, some people may not be able to afford these scat packs or whatever the situation may be. And so they tend to break into them. So if you happen to go into a bad neighborhood or a bad area and you leave your car unlocked, you feel what I'm saying? you may not see that car you feel what i'm saying so you know what i'm saying you need to be really cautious on your surroundings for real you know where are you going you feel what i'm saying don't have your car out here this is not the typical car you feel what i'm saying you cannot just be riding your car outside of the city not looking good you feel what i'm saying because look i'm just saying do your research before y'all get one of these they fun you feel what i'm saying but but being cautious where you park so me personally i like to park far out you feel what i'm saying i park far away from cars just so i could be in my own little area and then we can go from there you feel what i'm saying so yeah so just be cautious on where you park um the next the next one i have is the steering wheel so the steering wheel me personally i don't like you feel what i'm saying i don't like the steering wheel because i don't like that it say dodge on it you feel what I'm saying? I don't like that. Because it's not the typical Dodge. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's not just like a, oh, yeah, a regular Charger, like the SXTs or the GTs or the RTs or the uh, just a regular Dodge. It's not none of them. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I can see why they would have Dodge. You feel what I'm saying? But, like, it's like scat patch, Hellcats, Red Eyes, Jailbreaks. You feel what I'm saying? Like, all those like you know the hellcat the uh sit hellcats they have the srt you feel what i'm saying in the middle but us scat packs we should at least have like the scat pack in the middle we got dodge in the middle of the steering wheel like no it need to be like it need to say scat pack or 392 or a b something you know what i'm saying but you feel what i'm saying I know that this steering wheel, I'm not keeping this steering wheel on for long. You feel what I'm saying? So I might just end up, I'm getting a customized steering wheel. You feel what I'm saying? So my stuff going to be customized already and stuff like that. Um, but that is a con that I don't like. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like, bro, like, we up there with it. As, we not real up there with the SRTs, but we we deserve to have, like, a bumblebee or something like that instead of the, the Dodge steering wheel. Like, that's ridiculous. You feel what I'm saying? Like... These on the seats and the badges ain't enough. You feel what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, that's a con for me. Um, that's all the cons I really have for real for, for this for this video. You feel what I'm saying? So now we finna get into the good part of the video. We about to get this video busting. You feel what I'm saying? So I got some cons for y'all. I said cons. I'm so sorry. I got some pros for y'all. Um, so a pro that I put down was... Um, the look of the car you feel what i'm saying uh the look of the car uh is just very very aggressive you feel what i'm saying it's very like it's just it's just him when i look at this car i'm like this is him you feel what i'm saying like this car is just freaking the beast like that's all i could say like this car is just crazy and it's just like the look like it's just i just love the car you feel what i'm saying i really do love the car you feel what i'm saying and i feel like it just gives a very very good aggressive look for what i'm saying so yeah and my second um pro is the space in this car is amazing for what i'm saying i got a lot of space and like when i had my lexus i'm gonna be honest with y'all like my lexus was like 
it's for me you feel what i'm saying like nobody really be in my car for real you know what i'm saying it just me me you feel what i'm saying so it was perfect for that you know what i'm saying now although this is i put this as a pro i do say this is a con because i am short and i don't like how well i guess i gotta get back to the con right i'm sorry so the con so i would have to put this in the con because i have to move my seat all the way up and it make me look like it make me seem like i drive like an old lady you feel what i'm saying no offense to the old people out there you feel what i'm saying but that's kind of how it is because i'll be out to be so up to the, to the steering wheel but back to the pros <laughs> but yeah so that's i would say that one then i would say like um the space so like if you got you have a lot of friends or you got like a lot of people in the car or whatever like that um you just got a lot it's like really roomy for real. like my space is ridiculous it's like a lot of space here a lot of space there it's a lot of space in the especially for the back seats and stuff like that it's just it's just really crazy it's really amazing um i love that part just real much a lot a lot of space so i really love that um so if you like a person who's looking for like a family like a car that's a sports car that's like a family sedan or whatever like that yeah get, get this cat pack or this hell or get a hellcat you know what i'm saying um, it's just way better than a challenger in my opinion personally now y'all can also drop in the comments as well let me know how y'all feel about the uh the challengers as well because the challengers i feel like don't really have that much space because it's a two-door um car versus this is a four four-door car and you have more space versus your, your, you know what i'm saying like the two doors on the challengers and then you you know what i'm saying you gotta put your seat down so people can get in the back and then they be clenched up it's just like it's just a lot of more space compared to a challenger um another one i got is um the attention so we spoke a little bit about this in cons but um i think that getting the attention i'm gonna be honest like it's a good feeling you feel what i'm saying you feel like a celebrity you feel what i'm saying that you feel good about it like okay people like your car now me personally you know what I'm saying? This was my dream. One of my dream cars. You feel what I'm saying? And when I used to be next to scat packs or like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the situation was, I used to really like, like admire the car. You feel what I'm saying? Now, wherever you at, you get attention, period, with the, with the car. You know what I'm saying? Even if you had a Hellcat SRT, you still get attention because... You know what I'm saying? These cars is what's popping right now. You feel what I'm saying? So I would say that's a good thing. You get a lot of attention. Uh, but you could put that in both categories. You could say that's a pro and you could say it's a con. You feel what I'm saying? It's very it's really just what you how you look at it for real, you know? Um But yeah, it's crazy. And then I just had I just went to Walmart today and somebody was taking a video of my car and stuff. Now mind you, my car is not tinted yet what i'm saying so it's really like wide open everybody can see and like you know what i'm saying maybe she was manifesting her done like that you feel what i'm saying but it was just like chill out chill out but that's how i feel i feel like it, it do um bring a lot of attention i really do love this car for real uh next next one is the backup camera so the backup camera i love the backup camera because i feel like it's so easy like i think two days ago or three days ago me and my brother we went out real quick we went to like the grocery store or whatever and i was able to back up the car like the front way drink 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 and that drink was like crazy i was like dang i really just did that versus when i had my lexus um i don't have a backup camera you know what i'm saying i learned a lot from my first car you feel what i'm saying um so i had to really like look back and make sure you know what i'm saying like really use that or like use my mirrors but now i could just really look at the screen and then just back the car up like that and whatever like that um so i would say backup camera is definitely like that because not all cars come with the backup camera so it's real smooth i don't have to be looking out of my mirrors none of that i could just back up and look at the screen and i'm good you feel what i'm saying so yeah um number five is the sunroof so i know y'all could probably see um this is the sunroof what i'm saying the sunroof is up there um i don't have a car on right now uh because you know what i'm saying my engine is it's just gonna be real loud but um yeah so i got the uh sunroof right here and um that sunroof is good because it's like if you're trying to like you and your thoughts or you really just trying to uh 
get some more air or you trying to get on express when you want to hear the sound and stuff or you got a lot of people in the car y'all listen to music or whatever you could just hit this put this open and let the thing fly and do what it do you feel what i'm saying now this is a good thing because i had a sunroof in my old car and i knew that i wanted um a sunroof in my new car um that that i got i wanted a sunroof so yeah so that's a good one uh another one is a remote start key so that one is good so pretty much when i put that one down that's really just tackling down um the sound cold start you feel what i'm saying so i could be from the house um and i i could start the car up and it will turn on my heat for me it will put my um heated seats on if i want my heated steering wheel on um it will do all that for me um from the house you feel what i'm saying everything it, it's lit you feel what i'm saying i love that feature because again when i had my lexus i couldn't start my car like that you know what i'm saying i had to actually use it you know what i'm saying it was more like it wasn't so like high tech you feel what i'm saying so um definitely upgrade with that um and i just overall i really just love the car you feel what i'm saying i really do um i'm i'm actually happy that i invested in getting one of these you feel what i'm saying and i stopped playing around i really got on the wave on getting one because i was playing you feel what i'm saying but today in today's video man you know what i'm saying we did cover all of the pros and cons in my opinion on things that i don't like and things that i do like and you know and covering why you know what i'm saying always it's always a why to something as well um drop in the comments you know what i'm saying how y'all feel you feel what i'm saying how do y'all feel uh about the uh scat pack seats um do y'all prefer leather or cloth um you know what i'm saying how do y'all feel about the space you know what i'm saying just how do y'all feel personally if y'all have a scat pack or y'all trying to get a scat pack or or a hillcat how do y'all feel you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna wrap this video up for y'all man make sure y'all like comment and subscribe man and turn them post notification bell on man come on man turn the post notifications on y'all know what i'm finna say man and don't forget to add me on instagram at buffalo maybree and don't forget to add me on TikTok at YT, yt dot life for Bree. You feel what I'm saying? It's always a vibe over there. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.